Hello, and welcome back to Stories Untold with Mary Ellen Katz. I don't know anything about the lab construct, but this is the next in the series of short stories, as told by this game. Four stories, one nightmare. Yeah. So let's just dive right in. This is subject 12-19-86-23, new session entry. We have myself, Dr. Alexander, leading, assisted by Dr. Williams, and in the lab itself, our volunteer, Mr. Asian. We have artifact 23 in the chamber, recovered from crash site B. At the moment, it appears inert, showing no signs of activity. Mr. Asian, instructions for each stage will come through to your terminal and we need you to follow them exactly. Now, some of this may be unfamiliar, so always reference the manual on your terminal for guides on calibration and procedure. Once you've calibrated equipment to match our brief, the green light will flash, allowing you to trigger the experiment. One last thing. Ensure that any equipment non-essential to the current experiment is switched off. You cannot proceed until your calibration matches ours. When you're ready, let's bring this back. Sweet! We're playing Fallout. At least that's kind of what it looks like. So experiment. Experiment 1. Uh, internal analysis. Subject J1983, MEM, is enclosed in solid outer layers. X-ray the artifact to determine its internal structure. Okay. Oh, uh, manual. Uh, spectrogram, uh, electromagnetic, blah, 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 electromagnetic spectrogram, x-ray. Okay, uh, let's look at one. A required apparatus. We need a camera, monitor, set to x-ray, and charge CC86 x-ray device. I am so confused. TV input modes? I, well, okay. How, how do you do that here? Do I turn my knobs? Help. Press the keys bracketed in the top menu to move between pages. Well, I figured that out by getting here. Press tab to roll over to the chest chamber. Oh, wait, really? Oh. Okay, that wasn't just set dressing. At the chamber, use your mouse cursor to select interact. Neat. Okay, so... Required apparatus. Camera. Monitor set to x-ray. Whoa, what are we doing? Nice. How do... XR? Is that x-ray? Consult. Set to x-ray. TV input modes. X, uh, R3, IR, and XR. R3 equals RGB, full color, IR, XR equals X-ray. Okay, cool. So we got that. Uh, camera. Uh, we need a camera. Do we have a camera? This looks like a camera. Waiting X-ray data. I mean, that looks like a camera. Yeah. Yeah, let's say that's a camera. And charge CC86. CC8, that, that's what that says. 
Sink Master. I believe that means we're ready to go, right? Um. Yeah, I, I, th I think I remember the, the beginning thing saying that's, that means yes. Do it! Okay, good work. The x-ray is coming through now. There's no visible damage to the surrounding organic material, and no signs of activity either. All output is flatlined. Okay, let's begin. All right, we did it. Press enter to receive new experiment task. Give me more. We're doing science here. More science. Experiment number two, surface reaction attempt. Demonstrate the effects of laser light on the object. Try using a low-powered red laser to begin with. Cool. So, concentrated laser. Do it. Acquired apparatus. LZR2 light generator. Set wavelength. Monitor set to RGB. Okay. So, monitor set to... Is, is that a heart in there? Hold on. Um, uh, manual TV input modes. R3 is RGB in full color. Okay. Yeah. All right. Light frequencies. So LZR2 light generator set to wavelength. Use a low power red laser to begin with. Red, 650 uh, nano newtons. Mega newtons, only backwards. 650 mega newtons. I'm, that's what I'm gonna call it. Oh, here. Are you on? 650 mega newtons. Give it a go. No reaction from first stage. Let's try a high frequency. We done did it. Demonstrate the effects of laser light on the object. Increase laser energy. Use green laser. Green laser is 510 nms. We're ready to go, doctors. Reaction of some sort here, a weak signal. Let's keep going. Increase again. Oh. Is the heart gonna start beating? Also, it is not lost on me that someone is giving me instructions over a loudspeaker, and I'm the one sitting in front of the bloody test chamber. I assume it's in there. Through that hole. That's what I assume. So this is probably a dangerous experiment, isn't it? Use the blue laser. 455. Hit it! Well, would you look at that? Wow. It seems we have a pulse. Rhythm is stable. No activity registering in the core. It's possibly damaged. Let's push further. What are we examining that has this heart? Test the acoustic resonance properties of the object. Begin with generating 250 hertz sine wave with amplifier gains into one. That makes really not a lot of sense to me. I'm going to assume it's a science. So, resonant frequency, Tessie acoustic resonance. Write down the list. Uh, required apparatus, signal generator, set frequency and waveform. So, so, we want the sign, we want the gentle waves, and amplifier sense a gain. 
turn you off. This is this is looking like what we need right here. Oh, okay. Um, shoot, what was the the hertz required? Two hundred and fifty hertz. Turn it up. There we go. Okay, so we've got the hertz set. Sign amplifier gain set to one. Amplifier. I don't need the. Uh, well, let's leave the camera on. For reasons. Amplifier set to one. Is this the amplifier? It must be. All right, that worked out. Much of a response. Uh, updating the experiment now. All right. Um, increase frequency to 500 hertz sine wave and amplifier gain of five. Roger that. We just pump that up and crank you even higher. Perfect. Let's slance this bitch. Oh dear. Seeing some fluctuations in activity. Should we increase to the risk of damage? What? What? What about uh volunteer? What? I can hear you. Okay, we're gonna push further. I'm running out of time. Let's switch around. Um, risk of damage and and me. Uh, there was something of that, which is square wave. Maintain current frequency. <sighs> oh, let's do this. Oh, piss. We're seeing good activity on this side. Seeing definite spikes in movement. Yeah. I know this might seem uncomfortable or dangerous, uh. but you need to trust us and keep going. And if I don't trust you, on account of I don't, test the acoustic resonance properties of the object. Maintain gain 5 in square waveform, bring wave frequency to 1 kilohertz. You trying to kilohertz me? Fork. Oh, Jesus. She can't handle much more power, Captain! She's gonna blow! She might, actually. The last thing I want to see on that monitor is a heart going pop. Oh dear, oh dear. Too, too, too high, too high, too high. Bring it down. I mean, it's fucking too high as is, but... Christ! For science! Oh! Oh! Full activity registering. It, we did it. You did. Can you hear us? Freaking dead! You've made excellent progress. You're doing great. Now we need you to stay calm and try to relax as we go through these next steps. We're going to attempt to alleviate some of this discomfort. Um, you popped the heart. Also, this is really freaking annoying, so turn you off. And you. Uh, the protective casing is off. The heart was a protective casing. Cripes. Proceed to drill the surface. The fuck you say? Switch drill on. Ensure all other equipment, except the camera and TV, are switched off. Okay. So the drill's already in the set formation. Oh. I went and did it. I turned it off. Cool. Oh shit. Oh shit. I 
I think we broke it. How do you feel? What, me? Don't be scared. We have the situation under control. Take a few moments, and when you're ready, we'll continue. Uh, was this supposed to happen? Did you account for this happening? Make contact with the artifact. Open the test chamber. I don't think I agreed to this. Uh, this isn't in my contract. Hold on, I need to sign some life insurance papers. Like, uh, what are you? What is a heart and then has a hard shell underneath it? Well, let's find out. Welcome. Sorry to have to do this, but we have to know. I know how difficult this must be, but you can do this. It's time to remember. What exactly am I doing? Right. now. You have a connection to the entity's inner core. It's like a conscious black box. It can show you its memories. Look into it. The visions will translate onto the screen to be something that you can understand. That you can play out. I see. New data connection ready. Well, let's freaking do this. Oh, good. That's that's really intense. Memory retrace. You wake up in the cryopod, struggling against gravity, you force yourself up. Impact into the planet's surface has torn- Remarkable. You can navigate its memories. Use the computer. Work your way through. Impact the planet's surface has torn a hole in the ship hull. Poisonous atmosphere spills into your craft. You are in grave danger. What, our oxygen is poisonous? Jesus. You have to get out of here. Uh, look around. The craft is broken beyond repair. There is wreckage all around. The airlock door is locked tight. The computer terminal adjacent blinks. Look at terminal. The monitor blinks, demanding attention. The system looks usable. Use monitor. You tap the screen and the airlock door sputters to life, slowly opening with a horrendous noise. The ship powers down to silence, having spent the last of its reserves. This organ was taken from what we think was the leader. These memories are different and unlike the others. There's more detail here. Less hazy. Lean in. See what else is hides. You... you've done this before? Jesus. Well, ready your ears. You're going in for a ride. Oh god. Was that? You squeeze the damaged airlock and fall to your knees on the ground next to your vehicle. Every breath brings you pain to your chest. You look around to see you surrounded. It's incredible. How are we getting all of this? It's describing the moment we found the ship. 
Miss Asian, please continue. Surrounded by mangled metal, bright lights pour through every gap in the surrounding wreckage. Look around. A crash site, smoke bills from the down ship, exterior lights flickering on and off. Wreckage surrounds you. Looking upwards, you see unfamiliar star patterns. Wreckage surrounds you. Looking up, you see unfamiliar. Look at stars. You don't recognize any of the star patterns above you. With every ounce of your remaining strength, you move away enough of the wreckage for you to carefully crawl through. The lights that surround you now attack your senses. Look around. A circle of artificial lights surround you, set up to illuminate the crash site and the darkness. Behind them, an army of people all staring. One steps out, a silhouette, and walks towards you. Person. Your heart rate is elevated, but you're doing well. For what it's worth, very few of our test subjects ever make it this far. What? You should be proud of yourself. Also, more to the point, what? Oh god, this is gonna kill me. You ready your ears? We awake. The room is silent, only for the quiet hum of equipment and occasional machine beep. Your touch isn't yours. We are all as one. We move together in unison. Look around. We are in a bed in a small and artificially lit room with a single door. There is some sort of writing pinned to the wall. Adjacent is... This doesn't matter. We didn't put this entity in quarantine, it expired at the crash. Whose memories are these? When did this happen? Adjacent is a display monitor with wires that drape across the room and onto our chest. They have tortured us. Jeez. Get up. No. Okay, um... Open door. We can't reach the door, effectively tethered to the machine. Um... Disconnect from machine. What just happened? What's that alarm? There's been a disconnection in quarantine lab 15. Find out what's going on. Oh no. It's alive. We yank at the wires protruding from our chest. Together we all scream in pain. This action sets off an alarm echoing loudly down the adjacent corridor. Disable alarm. Nope. Um. Go through door. Look around. We are in a bed in a small artificially lit room with a single door. There's some sort of writing into the wall. Read writing. Symbols seem to indicate where where in our body they have had to cut. They've been butchering and maimed. We've been butchered and maimed over and over again. Christ. Um, look at monitor. The screen was blank other than the red symbol flashing in the center. 
registering the wires being disconnected. Oh, was it a heart monitor? Open door. Doctor, specimen 20 has left lab 15. It's on the move. My God, that vision. It's not a memory, it's happening right now. Mr. Asian, I need you to stop what you're doing, please. I can't, Doctor. We are one. We are together. And there's a new data connection ready. And I have to receive it. Was this? Through the door, we find ourselves in an empty room with a device on the table. It looks familiar. They don't know how it works, but this host does. The door closes behind us with a lock clasp shut. We are alone and together. Look around. It is some sort of preparation room. There are markings on more sheets with a door and a yellow window on one side. The door we came through has been locked shut, and the other door has an orange alarm light above it. In the center of the room, a table holding only a small device taken from your, it's, our, my ship. Take device. Look at device. It was an access code terminal for a wide connection, allowing commanders to commandeer other hosts. Only you, I, we have access to these codes. It's time to use them. Use codes. What is that? We haven't seen that before. What is it doing? It's using the tool we recovered from the crash site. It's in our systems. It's sending something across the network. It's broadcasting. Mr. Asian, please. We deeply regret what we have put you through, but please understand it was for the greater good. We had to know more. Rebelling now could be catastrophic. You don't know what this might do to you in the long run. Oh, you're telling me. Difficult to ascertain. Okay, hold on. Okay, okay. I did it. Jeez. They're all free. They're converging. It's over. We are together again. We are one. Can we be friends? I hope that's a yes. Mr. Asian, please don't do this. We, we mean you. We mean them no harm. Please, don't do something you'll regret. Wait! One day, Mr. Asian, this will haunt you. Goodness me! Well... It was still alive. They were still alive. And our efforts to understand them, they read it as being tortured. Intense. <laughs>